So we decided for Sandy Bums, we're gonna do a special series all around our home on how we and how you can reduce your plastic. Plastic is a huge problem, it is everywhere. Right now we have 8 million metric tons of plastic entering the ocean every single year. Now that is on top of the 100 million metric tons that is already in our seas. First up is our kitchen. Welcome to our kitchen. Okay, so one of the first things is storage bags, right? We all use, used to use Ziploc bags. Okay, so what we do instead, we get storage bags that are actually silicone and are reusable. So you put what you need in there. Uh, lock it up, it's good to go. When they get dirty, you just wash them, you dry them, they're great. Now, I realize if you send your kid to school with this fancy silicone bag, it might not make its way back home. So, another plastic-free option is waxed paper bags for sandwiches. Of course, we found one with sharks on it. Uh, they're not reusable, but they are not plastic. So many things that we buy um, food-wise come in plastic bags, plastic containers. So what we do is, ba -ba -da -ba, we buy a lot of things in bulk. Now, when you go to the grocery store to buy in bulk or to buy your produce, what do they give you? Friggin' plastic bags. So why don't you get your own reusable produce bag? And what's really cool about these bags is they tell you exactly how much they weigh so you don't get charged for the weight of the bag. Voila. <laughs> and speaking of produce, if you like to wash your produce, there are a bunch of fancy produce washers out there that always come in plastic bottles. What we do instead, we have a spray bottle that we have had for years. Inside of this is half water and half distilled vinegar. Water can come out of your sink. Distilled vinegar you can buy in huge, gigantic bulk tubs. We just spray it right on our produce, rinse it off, and for us, it's good to go. <sighs> yep, drinking water out of the tap. A lot of people still bring bottled water home. It's crazy and expensive. And so what we did is installed a water filter. So I'm actually very proud of this because I installed this myself, but uh, it's a water filtration device that takes out pharmaceuticals, heavy metals. Uh, it's great and it will save you money and reduce a ton of plastic in the long run. And you know what? This water tastes mwah, divine. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but uh, you know, oftentimes in this kitchen, we use part of something, but not all of something. And so we have stuff we want to keep. Now saran wrap is oftentimes like plastic cling film, people's answer to that, but that's a ton of plastic as well. We use these reusable wax paper sealants. They are terrific. With the heat of your hand, they hold down, seal stuff perfectly. And um, man, we've had these for like a year. They're still going strong. So what's another essential kitchen activity? Washing up. So another simple tip, hey, Get a brush that isn't made of plastic. This one is natural fibers and some metal wrapping it up. Whatever you do, there's lots of different kinds on the market. Um, just don't buy plastic. And for vegetable brushes, if you watch our produce, same thing. This is actually a nail brush that is bamboo and natural fibers. And we use that to wash our vegetables. Easy peasy. So if you're like me, sometimes you're kind of clumsy in the kitchen. Well, try not to reach for paper towels. Reusable towels are a much better alternative because while not necessarily plastic, though they do come wrapped in plastic, paper towels are a huge waste of resources. And these easy towels you can use and wash them are much better. Ugh, it's still sticky. So I'm gonna have to clean it. Now, you saw Ashlyn earlier with this little buddy of ours we've had for a long time, half distilled white vinegar and half water. <laughs> we don't just use this for cleaning produce, we use it for cleaning the kitchen too. Works great. Again, cutting plastic, saving money, two of my favorite things. That's it for our top 10 tips to help reduce plastic in your kitchen. Kitchen! We'll see you next time. All of these, or most of these items, you can find uh, in the description below. So check that out. Remember to subscribe to Sandy Bums and uh, have a wonderful rest of your week.